Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are live on Periscope, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube this morning, so thanks very much for joining us. We have, again, some showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-South for early today. Most of those should be peeling away, and we should be getting into some nicer conditions. Lots of sunshine expected into later on, but as of right now, as you can see across the area, especially looking at the St. Francis camp, we've got a lot of very cloudy skies across much of the Mid-South out there. The view from the horizon above showing again a lot of very cloudy skies and the roadways at this time. This is going to be the main problem for right now. We've got some wet conditions out there so you definitely want to slow things down as we see the rain continue across parts of the area leaving Shelby County and Memphis but again taking a look at those wet conditions out there. That's going to be making braking more difficult so you want to spread out your distance between you and the cars in front of you and slow your speed down. Let's avoid the possibility of anything involving hydroplaning in the Mid-South area. Jonesboro, Arkansas from Sound Concepts Incorporated webcam. This is from the Weather Underground Network camera system and as of right now uh, cloudy skies a little bit. You can see that back off to the south and to the uh, east but fog has started to kind of dissipate for a little bit. National Weather Service as of 7 o'clock dropping the dense fog advisory that was in effect for a good portion of the area. Bethel Springs, Tennessee at the elementary school again showing cloudy skies but we're starting to see the clouds break up by just a little bit so clearing skies all the way it's just going to take a couple more hours for all this to kind of sweep its way on out of the area and it's going to take a little bit for that to happen so patience and we should be seeing some more sunshine coming in here relatively soon earthquakes in the mid-south in the last 24 hours Nothing to report from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information or from the United States Geological Survey. We had one just yesterday uh, afternoon and evening. Of, that might have been around Thursday midnight or so, back up to our north and west, but otherwise nothing major going on. If you'd like to find out more about what's happening in the Mid-South when it comes to earthquakes, go to memphis.edu slash CERI or go to earthquakes.usgs.gov as we keep track of the New Madrid Fault here for you. Temperatures, again, will be on the mild side for today. We'll be looking at numbers back in the mid to upper 50s. We've got a cold front dropping into the area, and as it does, winds are going to be turning out of the north at about maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour, but this is going to be more of a dry front than an actual cold front. It's going to cool us off a little bit, but notice what happens to the temperatures out there. We will be heading back upwards again. It's just going to take better portion of the rest of the day before we get up there. The sun's going to have to come out and heat us up, and then we're going to be able to get a little bit warmer out across much of the area. So that's good news, and those winds will continue out of the north, to, northeast and the northwest at about maybe 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rainfall going away as we get into the rest of the morning hours. Almanac for yesterday, 48 are low, 71 are high temperature, much closer to where we should be for this time of the year. Record low hasn't been broken since 1892. That's been quite some time before we have seen anything like that going on uh, in the Mid-South area. That's a pretty chilly low right there. But if you see, again, the record high temperature, we can also get to some very warm conditions out here. 85, the record high set back in 1908. So it's been a while since we've seen any big changes on that. Now, a lot of you may see this number right here and say, no, wait a minute, we just got a whole bunch of rain through Memphis and I got a uh, soaked backyard and my car got poured on, so why are we showing zero? Well, most of that rainfall fell after midnight, so for Friday in total, hardly any rain actually came down in the Mid-South area, so we are still behind now for the month and also for the year. We can use some more rainfall. We just didn't technically get any rainfall until Saturday, so that's why we're showing little, if anything, actually showing in the area where it comes to rainfall yesterday. Taking a look at the rest of the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the day, for those of you on Periscope and Twitter, the screen freeze here. It happens because the computer system is trying to catch up. It does that a lot. Sorry about that, but as we go into the rest of the morning, let me zoom out so we can see everybody here. That cold front is going to be on its way, making its way down toward the south and to the east. And as it does, we'll be seeing again the possibility of some cooler conditions just by a little bit. Again, what we're going to be seeing is mainly uh, the drier air sweeping its way in 
from the north and from the west. So this front will be making its way into the area, dropping on down and passing through the Mid-South by about mid-morning or so. It's not going to be anything in the way of a major amount of precipitation coming on through. Uh, it looks like that's going to be it for the rainfall passing on through much of the Mid-South for this morning. And then drier conditions as those winds come in out of the north. We'll be looking at very clear skies out there and the sunshine is what's going to help to keep us a little bit warmer out across the area. So looking a little nicer there. Temperatures will be a little cooler back up toward Dyersburg than they will around the metro area or down toward Clarksdale, Oxford in that location. Uh, suddenly winds would help to warm things up even more and they will in the next couple of days, just not immediately at this time. Cool into tonight and those winds out of the north will keep things dry. This dry air is coming right off of central Canada so that'll keep the clouds away from most of the area. So some pretty good stargazing weather tonight. Cooling off as we head toward News Channel 3 at 10 back in the mid to upper 40s to around the lower 50s and by the time we hit daybreak tomorrow morning we could be looking at maybe a few upper 30s into parts of the Mid-South as we get into around areas of uh, northwest Tennessee, back into the Boot Hill and around northeastern Arkansas. It doesn't look like much out there. It'll be a little brisk, but it won't be the bone-chilling, single-digit wind chill cold that we had just a few days ago. So for the rest of the forecast, clearing skies, lots of sunshine right on into this evening. Great day to get outside and get some stuff done if that's what you would need to be doing. Tomorrow, also looking pretty good. A little cooler. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s, but clouds will be on the increase, and the more clouds we get out there, the less we will actually see of the sunshine, so it'll cool things off by just a bit. Then on Monday, cloud-sun mixture, but winds turn back around out of the south, and that is going to do a very good job of keeping the temperatures up by just a little bit, so we get into a very warm period for the first day of spring on Monday. The rest of the forecast up and down temperatures dropping to the 60s on Tuesday, 50s on Wednesday with some showers and thunderstorms coming on through. What we're going to be seeing again will be the possibility of a new storm system. Temperatures will rise as we head toward Monday and then really drop behind that system as we go toward around Wednesday or so. We'll also see better chances of showers and thunderstorms Tuesday night into Wednesday. A bit of a gap coming up as we head toward Thursday and then another chance of showers and thunderstorms as we go into next weekend, the first full weekend of spring. 2017. So far, again, looking at numbers mainly in the 60s to 70s, that's pretty good for this time of the year, just a bit above normal, so looking very nice out across much of the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the uh, next several days or so. Uh, Marcus Grinnerts, welcome from Latvia. Thanks for stopping by for just a little bit. Rest of the area again for today. I want to see more about what's going on with the forecast. Tune in to the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3. My forecast will be on there throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. And don't forget about the weather app. If you want to know what's going on in the Mid-South, forecasts, information about our radar, weather bug cameras, all that stuff is available through the app. All you have to do is go to your particular app store and search WREG Weather for more information in regards to what's going on in the Mid-South. There you can download it today. New and improved. Great opportunity to find out more about what's happening there. Also, join me on all these social media networks that you see up here for more details about what's happening. Send me pictures of weather across the Mid-South at Aonic underscore WREG3. Also on Instagram at Aonic no underscore necessary WREG3. Also on Facebook, Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, Periscope, SoundCloud, and as soon as I figure out how to get this thing going on the Game Boy Network, I will let you know about that. What's that? I don't know. As soon as we figure it out, we'll both know on that, so no question there. I'll have more of your forecast throughout the rest of the day. We'll be on with plenty from the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament today, so more than likely most of the newscasts will be on 3.2, the Anytime channel, if you have that on digital or on whatever satellite or cable channel that you have, or join us at WREG.com, and you can watch live. Just go to our website, click on the red Watch Live Now button in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, and you'll get more information about how to tune in online so you can see the newscasts coming in later on this evening. In the meantime, again, we'll be monitoring for any change in the weather, and we'll keep you updated on the forecast, especially with uh, these uh, websites right here. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Everybody, thanks for joining me. Have a safe weekend out across the Mid-South. We'll have another update of weather overtime coming up later on tonight on Periscope, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube. And we'll also have more, of course, on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for joining me for today's update of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.